Aim To determine the acceleration due to gravity at a place using simple pendulum and calculate the percentage error in acceleration due to gravity value. Calculate the length of the seconds pendulum from LT square graph. Apparatus Simple pendulum Stop clock Vernier calipers meter scale, retort stand and split cork. Simple pendulum consists of a small spherical metallic bob suspended by a string. The other end of the string is passed through a split cork fixed tightly in the clamp of a retort stand. The length of the pendulum L is the distance between the point of suspension S and the center of the bob O. L dash is the length of the string. Therefore, length of the simple pendulum is given by length of the string L dash plus length of the hook H plus radius of the bob R. So, when the simple pendulum is pulled to a side and released, it begins about its mean position to oscillate. The time taken for one oscillation of the vibrating bob is called time period and the acceleration of a freely falling body due to the earth's attraction is called the acceleration due to gravity G. Therefore, the acceleration due to gravity is given by the formula g is equal to 4 pi square l by t square centimeter per second square in cgs units
Here, length of the pendulum is 50 cm. In time for 20 oscillations, in trial 1, it is 29 seconds. In trial 2, it is 28 seconds. Therefore, mean of the two values is 28.5. Time period t is equal to 1.425. The value of t square is equal to 2.03 and its corresponding value of L by t square is equal to 24.6. Similarly, the values for the lengths 60, 70, 80, 90 and 100 are as follows. Average value of L by t square is equal to 24.7. Average diameter of the bob D is equal to 2R which is 2.20 cm. The radius of the bob R is equal to D by 2 which is 2.20 by 2. The radius of the bob R is equal to 1.10 cm. Average value of L by T square is equal to 24.7. Calculations Acceleration due to gravity g is equal to 4 pi square l by t square which is 4 into 3.14 whole square into 24.7 which is 974.12 per centimeter square. Percentage error in the measurement is equal to g minus g1 into 100 divided by g. Experimental value G1 is equal to 974.12 per centimeter square. Actual value of G is equal to 982 per centimeter square. Percentage error in the measurement is equal to G minus G1 into 100 divided by G, which is 982 minus 974.12 into 100 divided by 982, which is 0.8% L T square graph Now, we plot a graph L versus T square by considering L on X axis and T square on Y axis. Scale on X axis is 1 cm is equal to 20 cm. Scale on Y axis is 1 cm is equal to 1 second square. The graph comes out to be a straight line. Now, consider a point P on the straight line and note down its corresponding values of L and T square. Here, at point P, the value of L is 50 cm and the value of T square is 2.03 second square. Therefore, acceleration due to gravity G is equal to 4 pi square L by T square centimeter per second square, which is 4 into 3.14 whole square into 50 divided by 2.03. Therefore, the acceleration due to gravity from L by T square graph is 970.18 cm per second square, which is almost equal to the previous value. From the graph, the length of the pendulum on x axis corresponding to t square is equal to 4. On y axis, it is 100 cm. Therefore, the length of the second pendulum is 100 cm. Now, we plot a graph L versus T by considering L on X axis and T on Y axis. The graph comes out to be a parabola passing through the origin. Precautions. The amplitude should be small. 
thread should be strong weightless and inextensible the bob should not spin as it oscillates in the vertical plane the lower faces of the split cock should be in the same horizontal plane a vernier calipers should be used to find the radius of the bob